y'all, and welcome back to episode two. Jennifer cans some tomatoes. So we don't have that many on the vine. Um, I think I'll get about two quart jars. Um, already in this quart jar, I have added salt, a teaspoon of salt. I mean, I'm using the canning salt, so I did use a little extra. And I also used a teaspoon of sugar. It just kind of offsets everything to me. Um, so let's get busy. you all I would come up with two quarts of tomatoes so I have got my pressure cooker actually I need to start the stove All right. so my pressure cooker I added three quarts of water to it and about a teaspoon of vinegar so that there wouldn't be any watermarks. I am going to lay my little wire canner thing so that the jars don't touch each other, otherwise they could break. All right, in goes one quart. And in goes another quart. And I will my lid on. All right. I'm going to let it get to a little bit of a boil and then I will let the steam, once it, we get a good steady um, steam coming out of the top, I'll let it steam off for about 10 minutes and then I will apply my weight.
All right, guys, so I have let um, some of this air escape from the canner for about 10 minutes, so it's nice, good, and steady. So I'm gonna put on my pressure regulator at 10 pounds pressure. And look at that, it's already popped up. Now we will wait for it to get rocking. Now that we have a steady little rumble with our pressure regulator, we will let it um, do its thing for 25 minutes and then I will remove the pressure cooker from the heat and let it sit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, y'all. Let's remove the pressure regulator. And let's see what we have. Voila. And normally when you can them like this, they always do that, which is fine. So I'm going to put them over here. And then I will cover them up with this wonderful towel to let them sit for about 24 hours. guys make sure you stay tuned um for episode three where we can some sauerkraut hope you all enjoyed the little tomatoes um the little two quarts of tomatoes that we got done today well guys we were able to finally get that fire pit kind of roughed in there and hopefully ready for some rock pretty soon where i can kind of do like i did uh, in the cabin there. I'm going to use some of that brown rock that I got in North Carolina to finish the front of it and kind of over the top of it where I can actually get it covered up. And also the door. I've got an old charbroil grill that I think might work. Of course I'll have to flatten it out because it's half moon shaped. But I believe that I can cut it out and it might work for that. If it doesn't I'll come up with another idea. But anyway be sure and stay tuned for the next episode because actually doing all that should be a lot of fun. As always Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.